Greetings and salutations. It is Sunday, November 30th, and oh my god, I hate cars. Okay, so this is what the past, look at my calendar here, one, two, three weeks, three weeks has been like. So um, the weekend of BlizzCon on the Saturday, the 8th, I was driving to, I lived my video, and then I drove to a friend's house, or I tried, um, to go see the rest of BlizzCon, because that's what me and my husband do we spend we spend this call with friends because it's just way more fun so i'm turning a corner to leave the subdivision where we're living right now and completely slide and just you know sheer ice we just had a really bad snowfall and i just slid completely into a curb didn't hit anyone wasn't hurt so i was frustrated but i was okay and then so i had to get the car the front wheel was like all mangled and gross and uh, wasn't working wasn't driving properly so i pulled it up a little bit more barely and i got a toad and then I called them and they said, yeah, we're swamped because of the snowfall. People want winter tires. And I said, well, if I bring you my winter tires on Monday, um, can you guys just put them on and then I'll replace the tire and the broken rim next season? And they're like, yep, yep, no problem. And then they said, I said, look, my father-in-law thinks there might be a problem with the, uh, something to do with the joint because of how it was pulling while I was driving. Um, would you guys just do an inspection? They said, yep, drop it off Monday. We'll get that all figured out. So that's the 8th. We are now on Monday comes the 10th. This is all in November. Monday comes, I have the tires, I drop them off at the dealer, or at the place, and the, the, it's not a dealer, it's like a repair shop, it's the tire shop. And they say, I drop it off, and they're like, hey, I said, let's get new rims for the winter tires while we're at it, because I'm gonna need new rims anyway. Um, they said, okay, uh, we're pretty swamped. The next day is the holiday, it was Remembrance Day, or I think you guys in the States call it Veterans Day and uh let's do they said well probably we won't get to look at it till wednesday it's like hey that's fine no problem i understand you're busy so wednesday rolls around i don't hear anything thursday comes around i don't hear anything so i call them thursday thursday pretty sure i called thursday and wait, I, have, ha, I have it i had it written down for when i called afterwards Okay, so, okay, so, w sorry, the Wednesday I called for an update, and they said they look at it Thursday. I didn't hear anything Friday, didn't hear anything Saturday, they're closed Sundays. Finally get a call Monday, they told me what's wrong with it, gave me an estimate, and then they said it'd be done this afternoon. So this is Monday the 17th, so they've had my car over just over a week now. Wednesday, so we're on the 19th, I call for an update. They said, oh yeah, your car's been ready since Monday. I was like, well, why didn't I get a phone call? And they said, well, we did call you. I said, no, you didn't, because you have my cell phone number. My cell phone doesn't, I'm one of those horrible people that my cell phone does not leave my side. There is no way you called me. And they said, okay, well, you can come get it. I said, okay, well, it's late in the day today. Um, I can't ask someone to go take me. I don't really want someone to pick me up for me to have to drive. I said, look, um, I'll come tomorrow. Well, Wednesday night I was in the hospital and all day Thursday I was basically recovering and so I said, that's not happening. So I went Friday, hubby had Friday off because it was our anniversary weekend. So Friday, we go to pick it up, I paid for the repairs, I paid for the new rims, which all of which I was fine with paying for. And because they didn't call me and they'd had my car almost two weeks at this point, they gave me a really nice discount. So like $700 off. And I was like, okay, this is, this is pretty good. So I pay for it all. I'm pretty happy. I'm, they, you know, they kind of gave me a discount because they screwed up. I was like, okay, I'm feeling good about this place. I'm, I'm good go in my car it won't start I go okay so I go back in and they said well one of the guys might have left the interior light on it's been sitting for a few days we'll come and give you a boost I was like okay that's fine no worries it happens we're gonna boost me it's not gonna do anything the drive home is long enough to recharge my battery not a problem they can't boost it so I wait I hang around for about an hour and they've been trying to boost it for this hour and then I go up to the front desk and I say hey I've been here for an hour what the hell is going on and they said yeah we we can't figure it out so um I, it was about noon, I'm gonna say noon, one o'clock. They said they'd give me a call in a few hours with an update on what was going on. They said, you know, go home, we'll give you a call, let you know exactly, I, you know, we'll give you a call in a couple hours. And I got this from, I think, I think he was an assistant manager. So that's Friday. Saturday, I still didn't hear anything, so I waited until about noon and I called for an update. And they said they thought it was either the relay or the, there was something wrong with the relay or it was an anti-theft. Well, the anti-theft had been replaced two months ago because it's a 10-year-old car and those things tend to crop out around the 10-year mark. So I said, okay. They said they had ordered in from Chevy 
And then I spoke to an assistant manager again, and they assured me that I'd get a call Monday for an update. Monday rolls around. I don't hear anything. So this is the 24th now. So I call Tuesday, the 25th. And they said they didn't have a record of my car being there at all because I had paid for the work order and someone didn't write up a new one. So I said, put me through to your manager because this is ridiculous. So they said the mechanic would call me back that afternoon. I heard nothing. I, so I finally said, screw it. And I called head office because <laughs> I went, okay, you guys have had my car for two and a half weeks. This is a little ridiculous. So that was Tuesday. Tuesday, I get a call from the manager of like three stores, including that store saying, wow, I am sorry, this is ridiculous. Here's what we can do for you. We can wait to fix it or we can take it to the dealership and your dealership is probably your best option. I said, okay. I said, I don't wanna pay for this. And they said, no, we'll cover it. So they towed it to the dealership. It was fixed. I got my car back on, what day did I get my car? Thursday? Thursday or Friday? I don't remember now, but yeah, oh my God. They had my car for three weeks. I, they, it should have been a week. And then because they didn't call me, it wouldn't start because of the cold, because it sat for a week in minus 40. Well, minus 30, which is about minus 45, 40 Fahrenheit. So pretty freaking cold. And yeah. And then we had a humongous snowstorm. It snowed like almost a foot. So what's that like? Oh God, that's like 30 centimeters, I think something like that, 30, 27, 30 centimeters, something like that. It's not about a foot and the roads were just terrible. So I had to like slowly try and drive back. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. So I have my car. I didn't have to pay for those repairs, but oh my God, am I annoyed. I, I hate cars. I hate cars. I hate cars. And I'm glad that mine is now parked in the driveway, plugged in, and I probably won't touch it for another couple of weeks. I hate driving at the best of times, but I've been in three accidents now, two of which were ice and winter related. And I now, when I have to drive, I shake. And when I have to drive following an accident, I shake and cry. So I no, I'm tired of driving. So I've made a deal with my husband, hopefully that he will do a lot of the driving now until I can kind of, you know, get behind a wheel and just, you know, just get into a car period and not be shaking. Cause I get shaky now just sitting in a car, no matter who's driving. So that's fine. Anyway, so that was, that's been my last three weeks and I haven't really talked about it because I wanted to be able to give you a whole resolution of a story. <laughs> so yeah, that's been my past three weeks. So in the comments, tell me about your car troubles and if any companies or dealerships have screwed you over because this was pretty freaking monumental. Anyway, that is it for today. I'm gonna go play WoW. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.